Hi, this is Beata from Split Coast Dampers. In this video, I'll show you how to create this bucket or um, basket out of three Sizzix pillow box dies. Then Put wrote this tutorial for us. Make sure you check out the photo tutorial on Split Coast Dampers. And you start out with three Sizzix pillow box templates. Uh, mine are cut out of real red cardstock. Add strong adhesive to each of the glue tabs. Peel off the liner and line them up to create one long strip. Once you're done with that, we'll cut the glue tabs off or down. The, where the bottom will be, your bu bucket bottom, we'll cut on the score line and cut the tabs completely off on all six of your walls. I'm only going to sh show you two and then show you the other side so it doesn't take so long. You continue to do that till all of these are gone. Then you turn it around and here these three um, ovals, you cut them down so they look like the glue tabs next to them. And you repeat that with the others as well. I already prepared one. Here you have the bottom with nothing and here the top that has the glue tabs all looking the same. Now pre-fold all your score lines. and tape it together. This will be your bucket walls. Turn it so the bucket bottom is up. Next you will need three strips of cardstock measuring one by five inches and score it half an inch in on each side. Pre-fold your score lines, add strong adhesive the liner off and then tape it on the bottom between two walls to create the start of your bucket bottom. Repeat with the other two. Let's line it up. And one more. Then you will need two four inch circles. I cut mine again out of real red cardstock. Oops. Add strong adhesive. I'm using score tape because you can rip it, it goes real quick. And the liner comes off a lot easier and it doesn't statically cling to you. And we'll use one of the circles for on the bucket bottom. and one for the inside. If you have a Siron, you could run it through the Siron and use this as adhesive. Man, that's a tongue twister. No, your bucket, you could just use that and already add handles and you're done. I want to add some patterned paper. This is from the specialty paper Christmas Cocoa from Stampin' Up. I used a two and three quarter by 12 inch strip and then added another three inch strip to it and scored at two and three quarters each. I'm gonna add adhesive. And Tape 
tape it around my bucket. I don't want to tape it down completely till I know it line up on the other side. And now I can press it down. Now that I have my bucket walls decorated, it's time for the handle. You'll have to punch a hole. I'm using the horizontal slot punch slot punch from Stampin' Up. It does not like when you punch through several layers, so since I have to make it my handle is three quarter inch inches wide. It's a 12 by three and quarter inch strip. I just punch it several times until I have my slot. Then I go to the opposite side and do the same thing. Just move it over. Eventually it will come out. Let's see if it's wide enough. Yes. Then you just fold your cardstock strip over. I fold mine over so it hangs a little bit over the bucket rim. Take a hole punch. I'm using the crocodile with a small hole punch. Uh, punch a hole in the center and use a brad to secure it. You could also use eyelets or just tape it. And you go to the other side and repeat. Fold over, punch, add your brad and then just, you could leave it like this or you could add a greeting. I stamped mine from the level to host the set um, Christmas punch from Stampin' Up. And I added a damask stamp from 24 Friends 24 seven. Add a little ribbon and your bucket is ready for filling. I hope you have fun creating buckets for every occasion.